No, because you, <laughs> you, uh. Oh. Oh, tomorrow too. I need to record either an outro or an intro for this. One of them will be talking. I want to at least. Welcome on back ladies, it's your favorite around the way girl Naturally Candice and I'm back with my first protective style of the year, the mini twist. So let's get right into the style. You're going to need to start on freshly washed and stretched hair. I put my hair in about 12 small braids and let it air dry overnight. I made sure that the braids were really tight and secure going down to help stretch out my hair. This is my hair after I did my pre-poo, my tea rinse, my deep conditioning, and then I just let it air dry. If you haven't already, be sure to watch my previous videos. I am currently rehabbing my hair. So after I remove my braids, I'm just gonna start to part my hair into sections to make it easier to twist. I'm gonna split the bottom half and the top half into two sections, and then split the back section into two equal parts. You don't have to section your hair into the smaller sections. I have did this style before, so I know that when I split it into the smaller sections, it makes it easier for me to manage and keep a hold of the parting when doing the twist. Now for the front section, I'm going to split it into three. This is where you'll decide if you want a center part or a side part. This time around, I went with the side part. So I split about 75% of the hair into one section and then 25% into the other section. Then the larger section, I split into two. So in total, I ended up with five sections, three in the front and two in the back. And once I start twisting, you'll understand why it was so much easier to just section off the hair. And for the sake of a short video, I went ahead and started twisting my hair off camera. I decided that I wanted to go with about pencil size for this set of twists. You can go for uber mini twist if you want, but this was the size that was easiest for me to do. So when I start twisting, I start, of course, in the back sections. I started with the right section and then move my way to the left. It does get a little hard when you're trying to part and section off the hair. There are some times that I start to do a twist and then realize like it's way too small and I do have to unravel that twist to add more hair. It's really just feel and go. So once you get the hang of it and you know what size you want, it's really easy to do. I don't even use a mirror when I do the back section of my hair. I mean, I want them to be alike in size, but they don't have to be perfect. So I sit down in front of YouTube and just twist the back at a touch and go basis. So this is what my hair looks like so far. I've completed all of the back and one of the sides in the front. They are pretty much alike in size and I'm really happy about that, but I know there are gonna be a few at the top that are gonna be super thin. I can tell just from the way that I I am really loving the way that the back and the front section that I've completed so far is looking. It looks really full and really healthy and the ends are like perfectly curled. So let me show you how I do my mini twist. It's super, super easy. I just spritz my hair just a little bit with a little aloe vera water. You don't want to soak the hair, you want just enough water to moisturize. I do use the comb to section off the row that I'm gonna be working on and then I spray that row down with the aloe vera water and then I just use my finger to part out each twist. Before I start twisting my hair, I apply some Eco Styler gel, just work it through and then I just start to do a two strand twist. You definitely wanna make sure that you're twisting the hair very tightly, not where it's gonna break off, just very securely so that it'll hold the twist. And once I get to the end of the twist, I just add a little more Eco Styler gel just to seal it so the twist doesn't unravel. And that's the process I do for my entire head. I part off a row using a comb and then I spray that section down with a little aloe vera water. I then use my hand just to finger part the section out that I'm going to use for the twist, apply a little Eco Styler gel, then securely twist my hair all the way down. Once I get to the end, I apply a little more Eco Styler gel just to seal the twist. In total for this set of mini twists, it took me about three and a half hours to complete. I did stop and take a few breaks, so I probably could have got done way sooner, but in total it took me about three and a half hours. Three and a half hours might seem like a long time, but you can actually wear these mini twists up to a month. 
and I knew that my parting was off a little bit, I ended up with a twist the size of like a thin spaghetti noodle at the top of my hair. Once I finished twisting up my hair, I just put some oil all over my hands and gently smoothed the oil down the shaft of the twist. And that is it. This is the completed look. I really love how full and healthy my hair is looking in the mini twist. I do plan on having this set of mini twists in for about two weeks, so be on the lookout for a video on how you can cleanse and clarify your scalp when you're rocking these twists. To keep my twists from getting frizzy at night, I will wrap them up with a satin scarf and sleep on a silk pillowcase. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, Queen, eat great.